So if you're a Deontay Johnson owner, you're off to a good start for Fantasy Football Week 9. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss with a wrap-up of the Tennessee Titans-Pittsburgh Steelers Thursday night game. And, um, you know, one of the themes coming into this game is that I said, let's not go crazy yet about Will Levis. I mean, he had a huge debut last week, obviously, four touchdown passes. But got a lot of questions in particular from the chat yesterday and even leading up to waivers. Should I pick up Will Levis? How much should I spend on him with fab money and all that other stuff? And I said, listen, pump the brakes. He's got a tough matchup against the Steelers. I'm not buying this, this sudden explosion on him just yet. Let's see how it plays out before we just liberally put him in lineups. Well, he didn't throw a single touchdown last night as the Steelers come away with a 20 to 16 victory and they're now five and three um, despite having Kenny Pickett who was um, you know bruised and battered coming into the game and really has been all season and Pickett threw a touchdown pass to Deontay Johnson um, and uh, had a really good connection going with him and Levis meanwhile 22 of 39 262 no touchdowns and a pick uh, took a bunch of sacks as well looked very indecisive very slow to react and read the field and and that's you know he got he was pretty much a complete dud. Um, only ran for two yards as well. So again, I said that just to be very careful with him and, and look what happened there. Now, as far as Deontay Johnson, seven catches for 90 yards and a touchdown. Of course, he didn't score all last year. He scores today, or rather last night. Um, 22 fantasy points in a PPR league. Really good job there. Kenny Pickett threw the one touchdown. Um, and like we see every week now, it has become a strict 50-50 timeshare between Jalen Warren and Najee Harris. Warren, 11 of 88 on the ground. So Warren, eight yards a carry, still continues to show that he's the better back uh, between the two of them. Three catches for 25 yards. So he's inching his way up the PPR running back rankings each week. Um, Najee Harris, though, wasn't bad. 16 of um, 69, and he scored a rushing touchdown, two catches for seven yards. So both guys got the job done yesterday. It was less flashy for Harris, but that's to be expected. Um, as far as the rest of the... Uh, Steelers are concerned. Allen Robinson just a catch for 10 yards. Nothing else happening here. As far as the Titans, Derrick Henry, 17 carries for 75 yards and a score. So he did Derrick Henry things. Added three catches for 27 yards. It's a bonus whenever he catches any passes. DeAndre Hopkins, four catches for 60 yards. It was a good start and did nothing in the second half. So um, just a disappointing game for him. So overall, Will Levis, like I said, came back to earth. Um, uh, he's just not an, auto, an automatic start from here on out. And as a matter of fact, I think he's he's more of a bench guy, even in uh, super flex leagues, just because of that raw inexperience that he still has. All right, guys, hit that subscribe button. we got a busy day today, live stream this afternoon. Hit that notification button. I will see you then.